I am alive. What is going on, Swerve Alliance, Swerve Together? I am back, and my name is Dalton, or Swerve, formerly known as Swerve Zens, but I don't, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Uh, Dalton here, and today I'm just, just bringing you guys another video. I haven't done this in a very long time, so basically, guys, for the last, I want to say, week and a half to two weeks, uh, I've had a lot of just real life stuff come up, a lot of real life drama, a lot of uh, just real life has basically just slapped me in the face and realizing that I have five months left of high school less than that left of high school uh to you know see some of the people that i may never see again stuff like that so i've had a lot of um not only real life drama but just a lot of um a lot of more real life people stuff like i haven't brought my camera with me anywhere to do my vlogs that i do on my channel on a day-to-day -day basis and um i'm getting back into that though i will i will get back into that but this is about swerve so uh, today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about motivation, and the reason that I want to talk about this so much is because I actually watched the movie Creed last night, which if you haven't seen Creed, it's actually like a second coming of Rocky. If you don't know what Rocky is, I'm a little disappointed, but it's like the best boxing movies of all time, probably some of the most motivational movies I will ever watch in my life. And Creed is like a second coming of that because there's a character in Rocky named Apollo Creed, and it's supposed to be like his son that he had with another woman, and it's like, it's big drama at the beginning but it's really good it's really a uh, heavily what's the word heavily motivational movie and i talked to a few people about it uh for example john or narwhal uh we were talking on skype about it for briefly yesterday and he said you know it's really motivating like he said after he watched it he felt motivated for like two weeks or something you know just, just solely off of that movie now, the reason that I want to talk about motivation is because lately I haven't been very motivated to mo make videos, obviously, like so much real stuff and so much time that I haven't had, whereas, you know, in the past, um, you know, whenever I still did a lot of gaming videos and stuff, it was really, really easy for me to just be motivated because it was like, I loved making videos and I love gaming and it just felt so simple to me, you know, but more recently it's become more about, you know, making good quality stuff that can actually hit you at home instead of just stupid stories that no one actually really cares about. Motivation is very hard to just build. Like you can't just poof, be motivated. There has to be something external. Most of the time, there are some few cases that people can just say, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be motivated myself. There's nothing externally that's going to influence me you know this is me but that's not that's not very common um, most of the time you for example I get my motivation usually out of movies or music or quotes stuff like that uh, other people seeing other people do stuff motivates them um, talking to other people motivates them you know there's a lot of different ways that motivation can come about but here's why motivation is so important motivation is important because it makes sure that you do a good job say if you're not motivated to you know make a video you're probably gonna have mistakes in there you're, you're gonna have edit mistakes you're gonna have cut mistakes you're gonna have your little mess ups your voice mess ups you're gonna have a lot of that and it's just not gonna be as good quality motivation makes you make the best quality of whatever it is say you're a painter and you're not motivated to paint so you end up just painting something you didn't sketch before, you didn't chalk outline before, you didn't do anything like that before, and you just kind of threw it on a canvas and said, bam, painting done. Well, you know, it's probably not as good as something if you took the time to think about it. You took the time, you were motivated, you really, really wanted to take the time to actually build something, to create something of sheer pleasantry. It goes the same for musicians, it goes the same for all different types of artists. Motivation is the key driving factor to good art. For another example, recently, you know, as I've done less and less on YouTube and less and less gaming, um, you know, I've been doing a lot more exercise type stuff. Um, for example, um, after watching, I watched Southpaw last summer and then I actually rented it again a couple days ago, not a couple days, about a week or two ago, uh, about the time that all this real life drama stuff started happening. And uh, I actually I actually ended up watching Southpaw again, which Southpaw is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love boxing movies, if you don't already know this. After I watched that movie um, a couple weeks ago, I started, you know, getting back into working out, which is something that I did a lot last summer whenever I was traveling a lot because, you know, there's not a lot to do at a hotel whenever you're used to staying up until 3 in the morning. So me and a buddy of mine just went down to the gym every single morning till like 3 in the morning and came back. Um, as you know, super sweaty and shit, obviously, but we, we went to the gym a bunch and I was probably in the, some, one of the best times, like I've been in the best shape of my life last summer, 
I'm probably close to the best shape of my life right now. But going to the gym and stuff, after watching Southpaw, I started to get really motivated. And, you know, whenever a lot of this real life drama happened, a big problem of mine is I've had anger issues since I was really little. Like, there are some videos, I'm sure Zach has a video on his channel uh, of me just absolutely screaming at kids on PlayStation. Uh, I know one of my friends, Clay or Wolfie, most of you guys may not know about him. But uh, he still has a bunch of footage of me just screaming at kids on Xbox that, you know, it's it's just me just blatantly screaming. It doesn't even make sense. And it's just me blatantly screaming. But I've always had this little bit of an anger problem. So, um, you know, as I got as I got into this, like, drama and stuff a couple weeks ago, um, I ended up watching Southpaw. And it made me get out this old boxing bag, punching bag that my dad had in our garage. And I just, I just beat the shit out of it. Like, it's hanging up not here anymore this is my door but it's like we have this other room that it's just like a junk room and i just have it hanging up on a, our pull-up bar i have this little uh heavy bag hanging up on our pull-up bar and it like covers half the door when it's awesome but so after watching that movie i felt really motivated to you know get back in good shape and uh and start becoming more athletic again um you know especially with not having near as much time to play video games because of um you know doing real life stuff i've been hanging out with more people in band uh even though band isn't consuming my life like it was during marching season you know i've been like uh you know going to do stuff with people in band because some of my best friends are in band like i've i've been friends with them for the last four or five years some of them even six seven years so it's uh it's just been a lot of a lot of real life stuff i've talked about that more than motivation which was my point of this video but so being motivated and uh, it helped me, you know, try to get back in shape. I've been definitely trying to get back in shape. The little time that I have to play video games, uh, I actually just play 2K with Andrew and stuff. So I don't really even like play COD and stuff anymore. Like, I mean, I think I have COD in there right now. But uh, you see, I got I got 2K16 and 2K is actually fun as hell. I've been grinding this game out with Andrew. It's so fun. Without this motivation of watching Southpaw after all this drama happened, I wouldn't have started getting myself back in shape. I wouldn't have started, uh, you know, lifting again. I wouldn't have started hitting the punching bag. I wouldn't have started, uh, you know, just trying to get in better shape. And it's and it's awesome because like I I just have this playlist on my phone of just some banger music and I just I just go ham and that's basically all it is. And without that motivation of that movie. I definitely wouldn't have that and then especially after watching Creed last night if you haven't seen Creed 10 out of 10 go watch it phenomenal phenomenal movie just a lot of motivation coming out of that I want to continue to get back in shape I'll probably incorporate that into some of my vlogs more recently or more recently in the next couple week or so um, with my videos because you know, uh, obviously haven't posted in a while on my channel if you are subscribed to me you might know that if you're not no big deal but uh, videos are gonna be coming back. I'm sorry again that I haven't uploaded on the swerve for a while I know a lot of you guys uh, Probably not a lot of you guys, but a few of you guys really like me for the life of me I don't know why but anyways stay motivated go watch Creed go watch Southpaw if you haven't seen it If you don't like boxing movies after you watch these movies, you'll like boxing movies after you watch Rocky 1 2 3 4 and 5 you'll watch or you'll like boxing movies so Take my word on it. I know what I'm talking about whenever it comes to movies. Anyways, guys, this has been Dalton or Swerve, Dalton, Zens, whatever the fuck. Anyways, stay motivated.